Good afternoon folks, Jordan here at the Nutty Gnome Homestead. Today we're out in the rabbit barn doing a little breeding. I have Pepper, one of my black otter does. She is right at nine months old and we're hoping to get our first litter out of her here in about a month. Uh, we got our buck over here. He is a proven buck, another black otter. Uh, we know that whenever we breed these guys we can work out their genomes and get pretty close on what kind of colors a particular doe and a buck uh, pairing will give us. I know that we'll get almost all black otters out of this pairing. But breeding rabbits, nothing simple. They're not machines. Sometimes you uh, have to do a little coaxing to get them to, to want to breed. This is going to be her first time. Uh, most first time does uh, don't do too well in their first litter. Sometimes they lose them. Sometimes they have the kits on the wire instead of in the nest box like they should. That's just part of it. We always give them a couple of chances before we make our final decision. So in order to breed one of these rabbits, you take the doe to the buck. Never take the buck to the doe because she can end up hurting him very badly, oftentimes ending up in castration. So you want to be sure to take the doe to the buck's cage. And I like to remove the water and hay or anything else that can cause a mess or flip over or whatnot out of, out of the cage. So we're going to throw this bunny in the, in the cage and let them do their thing. Hang on just a second. All right, folks. This is our buck sage. We're getting ready to put the doe in the cage. That is one successful fall off. If you notice, the doe is actually lifting when he tries to mount. She's backed up against the cage. She lifts. That's a second successful fall off. Here on our homestead, we try to get three successful fall offs. That tends to give us a decent litter size and ensure she is pregnant. We'll come back in about three or four days and test some of these does. We'll put them back in with the same buck. And if she starts to cower <clears throat> into a corner, growl and won't lift for the buck then we know that she's a uh, pretty good chance that she's been bred successfully and she's pregnant as you can see the buck is a lot smaller than the doe our doe is about 10 pounds actually she's a little over 10 pounds today the the buck is about eight pounds and a couple ounces We have our doe set up on a schedule where we try to get three or four litters each year out of a doe. We don't try to push them too hard. We do give them a rest over the entire summer. We don't like to breed our animals over the summer when it is too hot.
looks like we might only get two fall offs out of this pairing today. That's alright. Like I said, we'll come back in a day or so and preg check and make sure she took. This is a young buck. Every, uh, every doe that he's been mated with has taken, so I don't have any issue with only getting two fall offs. We know that if we start breeding now, we will have a litter about the 1st of February. And there goes number three. Okay. We will go ahead and remove the dough. Let me put you on pause for a second. Okay. So I like to use two hands when I get the, the animals out of the cage. I do not like to pick up our animals by the scruff. This can cause some damage, so we try to be gentle with all of our animals. But we got three successful fall-offs uh, with Sage and, and Pepper here, so uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to take. Uh, we bred her sister uh, not that long ago, and they took and had a real beautiful letter. So I'm expecting good things from this, but that's all there is to breeding rabbits, folks. It's not rocket science. You know, they say breed like rabbits for a reason. Occasionally you'll run into some issues like a doe will not want to lift or she'll be overweight to where she can't actually breed successfully. Your buck could potentially be overweight as well and then he won't want to breed the same way. So, but with a proper diet and uh, constant maintenance and good animal husbandry, you shouldn't have that kind of issue. So, till next time folks. That's how you breed rabbits. Y'all stay safe.